Chemical and pharmaceutical companies are poisoning us, but you're not allowed to notice this is happening. This is a chemical warfare on our country. What's wrong with our food is that it's not food and reliant on industrial processes. For many of these compounds, there's clear evidence that some of these chemicals causes problems with reproduction. They really do hate you. Why do they want you to eat the bugs? Why are they constantly normalizing something that we naturally see as repulsive? Hornworms, they're still alive. Mmm. Extraordinary. Why are they specifically targeting children? You've never eaten a cricket before? I have. No? Tried. I have one. You tried. Oh, okay, oh, oh, Wait, which one do you have? It tastes good. This goes way beyond pandering to climate change narratives. We know the usual explanation. Cows produce methane, farming processes produce CO2. Bugs are sustainable, eat the bugs to save the planet, blah blah blah. But what else? Could there be another motive? Insects are toxic. Studies show they can transmit parasitic diseases to humans when consumed. Chitin, a natural component found in insects' exoskeletons, causes nasty allergic reactions in humans and a serious depletion of vitamins in the human body. This can lead to problems with pregnancy and depressed immune functioning. Record numbers of children in the US are already entering hospital due to weakened immune systems, while groups like the World Economic Forum relentlessly push the bug diet. WEF-aligned government like the one in the Netherlands are at war with livestock farmers enforcing climate change regulations to shut down meat production. Food processing plants, many of them meat plants, are also mysteriously catching fire across the United States. Sabotage the meat industry, elevate the bug industry. Create an entire generation of literal bug men. They really do hate you. We're at it for a calamity. They want you drugged. They want you fat. They want you sick. They want you lonely. They want you depressed. They want you demoralized. They want you atomized. People always ask me in a political context, what can we do? What can we do? And yet half the battle is personal. We need a renaissance. Getting into a healthier state, being a healthier person. Not everyone can be a Russell Brand, a Kanye West, an Elon Musk. But staying sane, staying fit, staying healthy is something that everyone can at least try to do. And when we're constantly bombarded with social engineering pushing degeneracy, toxicity, disease, that in and of itself becomes an authentic form of real resistance.